In chapter number 52 of Baki the Grappler, an event occurred that to this day remains unexplained. But before I start talking about it, I would like to mention that this chapter of the manga was not adapted to anime, so you will only find it in the Grappler Baki manga. In this episode, we can see that Yujiro Hama was in a hotel room, ready to take a nap. We have to remember that in a previous chapter, Yujiro went to a local dojo to humiliate all the wrestlers who were there. He had no particular motive, he just went to kick everyone's ass. Later, the ogre goes to a hotel. When he finishes eating, one of the employees informs him that someone has called asking for the number of the room he was staying in. Yujiro asks who the caller was, but the employee tells him that the mysterious person did not want to reveal his identity. Yujiro lets the situation pass, but just as he was about to go to sleep someone knocks at the door. Yujiro, a little surprised, gets out of bed and goes to open the door. Who in their right mind would dare interrupt the ogre's sleep? When Yujiro went to open the door, he thought it might be Dopo Orochi, because of the incredible energy he sensed on the other side. Yujiro grabs the doorknob and at the moment he tries to turn it, something impressive happens. Someone was turning the knob on the opposite side. This person was turning the knob so hard that Yujiro could not open the door. Yujiro's face expresses great astonishment. Who was so strong to make such an impression on Yujiro, and more importantly, who was able to match the strength of the strongest creature on earth? The mysterious person throws a punch at the metal door and leaves it deformed, this to challenge Yujiro. Yujiro kicks the door down and runs out into the hallway to discover to his surprise that there was no one on the other side. Evidently, this left Yujiro very upset and puzzled. We all ask ourselves the same question to this day. Who knocked on Yujiro's door that day? So, what we are going to comment below are speculations and theories of fans, as well as my personal opinion, nothing confirmed by the author of the work. Let's put on the table three possible options as to who this strange person could have been. Yujiro Hamma's bastard son could be an option. Although Jack was still an unknown character at the time, it could be possible that Itagaki had contemplated the idea of introducing Jack into the story earlier than planned. Perhaps at the time Itagaki was planning to create a Jack who could rival Yujiro Hamma in strength. Maybe that day Jack took more pills than usual, and that's why he was able to be at the same level as Yujiro in terms of physical strength. Maybe the effect of these excessive substances only lasted for a short time, and that's why Jack decided to run away leaving his father very upset. Who knows, maybe his goal at the time was just to annoy his father, not to fight him. This one is funny, I know, but many people have a theory that Itagaki was planning to make Kira Shinagi one of the strongest fighters in the series, Recall that in the Ultimate Tournament arc this character was given some prominence, Kira was one of the fighters who showed a promising future. In fact, in the next chapter a tiger is shown to have been killed by bare hands, and it is later revealed that Shinagi had been responsible for this. According to this theory, Itagaki would have regretted giving Kira a major role, and simply left this incident in oblivion. What do you think about this? Do you think Kira Shinagi was really destined for something bigger? The most interesting of the three theories is undoubtedly the one involving Yujiro Hama's father. As we saw in the last supper arc, Yuichiro appeared in the middle of the fight between father and son just to annoy Yujiro. So, it would make sense that from time to time Yuichiro would decide to go visit his son, even if it's in ghost form. In fact, he would be the only one capable of being on the same level as Yujiro since we saw that in that chapter the ogre was completely outmatched in physical strength. The only explanation for this is that his father decided to go to bother him that day. I know that it is not even known if Yuichiro is alive or dead, however I think that even if he is dead, he might appear in the earthly world from time to time. I personally believe that Yuichiro is still alive and just lives away from society. So, which of these theories do you like the most? To end the video, I would like to say that if you have a theory of your own, feel free to leave it in the comment box.
If you are already subscribed to my channel, I thank you for your support in each video. But if you are not yet, remember that you can do it at any time if you like my content. And well friends, thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe if you liked it. I hope you have a nice day or night. See you soon.